Well, the Catskills are a New York State park, and it's one of the early parks that were first formed. Uh, it's a lot bigger now than it was originally, and we named this hotel the Emerson after Ralph Waldo Emerson because he was writing poetry about nature, and it was some of his writings plus a number of other writers at the time of the 19th century that made people interested enough in creating this park and preserving some of the natural resources here. We are located right on the Esopus Creek, it's called, but it's really a river that meanders right through and ends up in, in the Ashokan Reservoir. In the Ashokan Reservoir, which provides New York City with the bulk of its water. By interviewing a lot of the staff and people who use the space, uh, we realized that the best feature about the Emerson is its location right next to the creek and nature and in the shadows of the mountains with beautiful sunlight coming through. And what we also realized was some of the existing architecture was perfectly fine. It didn't need to be changed. We just gutted some interior spaces and started to relate those interior spaces to the outside. This idea that we would capitalize on not only this river, but these long, beautiful views up into the mountains, down off the mountain, um, became the inspiration for how to set the stage for the new Emerson Resort and Spa. We really have totally renovated the entire hotel. When Roz came in, she helped us focus on what one of our big assets was. That, yeah. The river, the mountains, the view, and it just made total sense to us because that's really what we've always loved mm -hmm. about being here in the first place. The Emerson Resort and Spa has 53 rooms total, 27 rooms in our Adirondack Lodge, and 26 rooms in the Inn. We currently employ 125 local people full-time. As you face the Inn, the rooms are on the left portion of it. The lobby is kind of in the center. Then as you move to the right, you see uh, the entrance to the restaurant. And if you keep going, you come to a red barn, which is where we have our retail. And we have eight shops in that barn. So we, for a, a small hotel of 53 rooms, we have more retail than you would ever expect to find anywhere else. So we bring you into a pork share which sort of grounds you. We bring you into a vestibule, which is dimly lit. You walk through a barrel vaulted ceiling. Before you is this remarkable custom work of art that is a three paneled carved piece of wood of the Esopus River. When you walk in the lobby, that's what you see is the Michael Bauermeister. It's got the river running through it, it's got the trees behind the river, and it's got all the rocks that are in the river. Because of Roz, we've really focused on, uh, as much as we could, on local artists, and artists that were depicting nature, particularly nature in this area. Most everything is neutral, uh, naturally woven fabrics, naturally woven furniture. Um, the artwork takes precedent, and the artwork pretty much reflects the nature of the surroundings. The other major piece of art that we again commissioned is by Allison Berry, and it's a mural that runs the entire length of the hallway. It's called The Watershed, and it starts with the Big Bang, and it, the whole piece is really focused on the historical, natural development of this region and the watershed that is so important to New York City. This region is just packed with artists, artists and writers. It's, it's a very rich community in that sense. As you enter the spa, having checked in at the reception desk, I think the most amazing thing is the portal that actually survives from the previous design. 
in the middle of that space is a very centering rotunda where the treatment rooms are off to the left and to the right. But in the rotunda, there's a vessel and a light fixture. And that's very simple and geometric and centering. The spa is designed to be the most peaceful, restful place in the hotel, but maybe the most peaceful place you've ever visited. When you first enter and you get around that vase, it's a meeting room. It's a room where you go into the locker rooms, you put your robe on, you come back, and you sit quietly and wait for your spa therapist to come and welcome you into her room. So if you go to the left, we take you through a doorway, we skew the path to the right, where you walk on a tatami-like mat. It's actually quite commercial and durable, but feels very precious. And we line the left side of that corridor with river rock. We're blurring the lines between indoors and outdoor. We're creating this life indoors. We graze the wall with a beautiful slot of light, and above it, we use a wallpaper that mimics the shimmer of birch bark. And you walk towards this lighted altar, almost, of the silhouette of dogwoods in bloom. That is actually a etched glass and then there's uh, a special material behind the glass, in between the glass and the lighting, that makes it appear white. When your treatment is finished, you go down a long hallway that has some lovely art and into what we call the relaxation room. And that's a separate room with a fireplace, very serene, very quiet. The success of many of the lighting solutions at the Emerson, um, mainly in the spa, were done in conjunction with a lighting designer, Michael Stiller, who made our decorative light selections actually feel like they are illuminating the whole space. So really when you walk into that room, it's warm not only in temperature, but visually it's very warm. One of the things I really liked about what Roz has created is there's small areas that people can settle in. It's not just a series of big square block rooms. There are little niches, there are little interesting nooks where you settle in. So the library is one of them. That gives way to the great room, which is the, the room that opens itself up for small receptions. They do an open mic night where they invite the community in. The thing that stands out the most to me is that we changed the fireplace that was in there before. It was a wood-burning fireplace before, and it was shaped like a gigantic wine bottle, if you will. So we had Roz design this beautiful fireplace for us. The artwork over the fireplace in the great room is a series of tiles that are painted to look like the stream. Before we renovated the restaurant, it was a series of separate rooms so that you really from the hallway didn't even know that there was a restaurant. So again, Roz opened that all up and made it light and airy and beautiful. So we bring you into a waiting area. We commissioned another wonderful artist who picked up the tree forms, Robert Hyde, and it has now become the logo for Woodnotes Grill. So we bring you into the dining room and we have a canopy of yet another light source. They're LED, it's from a Dutch company called Mui Lighting. And it creates this sort of dappled light effect that you would get in the forest of the sun coming through the trees. And then to the right is the bar and that's framed by the Hubbard and Forge fixtures and then featuring their fixtures over the bar and at the tables that surround the bar. It's got a distinct character. Many people choose to eat in there, but to the left, the restaurant opens out uh, to a wonderful view during the daytime, and it's a beautiful space in the evening with the Mui light fixtures. You sit there 
and you might forget you're actually inside. You might feel like you're sitting on the deck or in a garden room under a, a canopy of trees. The rooms in the inn are all large. Even the room that we say is our smallest room is quite large. And all of these rooms have a door out onto a deck. Specifically at the Emerson, it's based on a certain sense of grounding yourself, relaxing. It's not just an overnight stay. The beds are luxurious. The spa-like atmosphere in the bathroom is luxurious. Yeah. And each room has its own fireplace where you can nestle up on a chaise and and, and read a book. So the expectations are pretty high. People go, they've planned it, they think about it, and we have to get inside their heads and we have to exceed that expectation. So the minute they arrive, the perception of the experience they're going to have has to come through the environment. Those clues are just so powerful and they can't be overwhelming. They've got to be calming, but they've got to be magical. We love this place. This is a work of love. If you want one of the finest spa treatments, this is the place to come.